Hundreds of thousands of invasive foxes in Germany have increased in just 20 years. Every year, about 100,000 cattle in Germany are attacked, causing hundreds of millions of dollars in damage to the economy. How have German farmers coped with the surging fox population? This is the video for you guys. Please share, like, and subscribe to the channel, and let's continue watching. What would happen if overnight all of the livestock on the farm were attacked in mess? The sheep and goats lay motionless on the ground. Something terrible had happened during the night by the foxes. Foxes are one of the most invasive species in Germany. From 2000 to 2020, fox populations increased from 300,000 to 600,000. The fox population appears to be unaffected and dealt with by wild species in the wild. They burrow, breed, and invade residential areas. They often attack livestock at night. Chicken farms have been identified as their main target at night. Chickens, with their poor vision, they will often rest in small farms, which is good for attacking chickens. They will lurk in areas outside the fence and infiltrate the farm. Unharvested chicken eggs outside the farm are also one of their favorite foods. So how did the farmers know that it was a fox? Every morning, after visiting the chicken farm, the number of surviving chickens is very small. The attacked chickens lay still on the ground. They realized that there had been a fight last night. Foxes often attack chickens' necks. This is the most dangerous position on their bodies. So how can we protect these cattle farms? Wick traps are method of fox population control that have been used in Germany since 19th century. The implementation of lick traps involves strategic placement in areas frequented by foxes, such as near livestock, barns, or pastures. The mechanism of these traps is designed to close quickly when the fox sits foot inside, effectively capturing the animal. Rural areas are ideal habitats for foxes, including large forests, grasslands, and wastelands. As a result, these areas are particularly vulnerable to foxes. Thanks to this trapping method, Fox numbers have decreased significantly by about 20% over the past two decades. Every year, about 20,000 foxes are captured through food traps in Germany. However, it should be noted that the actual number of foxes caught using the lick clamping method may exceed this number. There are foxes that cannot survive after being caught in a trap. Despite leg hole traps being proven as a successful means of population control for foxes, they're not without challenges. Some issues associated with them include the potential to cause pain and injury to the trapped foxes. Moreover, there is a risk of inadvertent trapping of other animal species, such as dogs, cats, or rabbits, raising ethical concerns 
and practical considerations about the broader impact of this population control method. The ethical and broader ecological considerations surrounding their use underscore the need for a comprehensive and thoughtful approach to wildlife management. The concerns about unintentional harm to non-target species and the moral implications of causing distress to capture animals emphasize the importance of continually evaluating and refining population control methods to strike a balance between effectiveness and ethical responsibility. In Germany, hunting is subjective to strict guidelines set by the federal hunting law applicable throughout the country. This regulation stipulates that only persons with a valid hunting license are allowed to engage in hunting activities. The nocturnal nature of the fox makes the night a wild time for hunting. Armed with all kinds of hunting equipment, hunters set out to track down and capture these elusive creatures. Before embarking on a leopard hunting expedition, meticulous preparation is very important. Hunters equip themselves with hunting tools, appropriate medicine, and other necessary equipment. In addition, it is necessary to have a clear understanding of the hunting area, including identifying locations that are frequent. When the hunt begins, hunters rely on flashlights to locate elusive prey. When a fox is spotted, a targeted use of hunting equipment is made, culminating in capture. According to a study conducted by the Federal German Environment Agency, an average hunter can harvest about two to three foxes per day. However, there are still skilled hunters capable of surpassing this number, successfully catching more than five foxes in a single day. The regulations governing fox hunting in Germany, as outlined in the federal hunting law, include a variety of conditions. These include possessing a hunting license, using a shotgun with a range of at least 100 acres, using appropriate ammunition and adhering to designated hunting areas. The law also incorporates measures to protect wildlife, such as restricting hunting of fox cubs, avoiding hunting during the breeding season, and avoiding hunting in designated protected areas. The German government is actively exploring the implementation of new measures to manage the growing fox population, which may encompass restricting the number of foxes permitted for hunting. As this discourse unfolds, the delicate balance between conversation and control remains the focal point in the ongoing dialogue surrounding fox hunting in Germany. Farmers have grappled with thousands of foxes attacking humans and livestock. How they cope with this challenge can be further explored in the following video. So let's continue watching together. In Australia, foxes are not only a common predator, but also a serious threat to the agricultural industry, especially chicken and sheep farms. Fox attacks usually take place at night, a time when chickens rest peacefully. <laughs> a 
every night, foxes can kill many livestock creatures, creating great economic and spiritual losses for farmers. Areas near forests or wild areas are often places where foxes often appear and attack. They choose to wander into farms to hunt and search for food. Foxes are intelligent animals that work in groups and often travel long distances in search of food. Their territoriality and flexible hunting abilities increase their ability to greatly impact their surroundings. Foxes are also omnivores, able to choose between meat, fruits, and vegetables. The diversity of fox diets creates challenges to efforts to control and prevent their overgrowth. They have the ability to hunt a variety of prey, from mice, rabbits, to birds, increasing the difficulty of controlling them. Fox danger in Australia is becoming a serious and heartbreaking issue, as one particular attack raises concerns about personal safety and causes concentration in the community. This is not only a danger to pets or livestock, but also possess a challenge to social security. In 2023, a 50-year-old woman named Mary had a terrifying experience when a fox attacked in the city of Melbourne. In the chaos of the attack, Mary was exposed to the fox ferocity, leaving her with severe injuries to her neck and arms. Fortunately, she survived, but the physical and psychological consequences still follow along, increasing her daily feelings of fear and pain. The use of spring traps to control fox populations is an important practice in the Australian agriculture. Spring traps are not only highly effective, but also simple and easy to use, and can be reused many times. To implement the strategy, farmers need to prepare carefully with tools such as spring traps, bait, and rope. Spring traps come in different types depending on the size and weight of the fox. The trap setting process is simple but requires caution and strategy. Farmers need to choose trap locations that maximize their ability to catch foxes, usually on the regular routes or near areas with plenty of food. By setting traps about two to three times per week, Australian farmers have achieved significant results in controlling the fox population. According to an Australian government study, fox numbers have decreased by about 30% over the past five years, mainly thanks to the deployment of spring traps. However, this process also requires attention and compliance with certain principles during the trapping process. Safety is always the top priority. It should be placed in a safe place out of reach of children and pets. Additionally, 
Checking the trap regularly is important to ensure it's working properly and is not causing injury to humans or other animals. Finally, the release of captured foxes should also be done humanly. Keeping the fox population control process effective and at the same time ethical. Spring traps are not only a smart solution, but also a symbol of care and protection of the agricultural environment. Fox hunting is not only a recreational activity, but also an important means of controlling fox populations, especially in areas with wildlife management problems. In agricultural areas such as New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland, where foxes often damage farms, hunters need to have their hand on their hunting equipment, such as hunting rifles, scopes and suitable accessories to access the environment. Rural school in large cities such as Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane where foxes can occur near residential areas. It is important to be prepared with safe urban hunting and trapping techniques. Forest and wilderness areas, such as the Great Diving Range and the Queensland Rainforest, require flexible and effective hunting techniques. Hunters need to be able to move flexibly in this diverse environment with tools such as hunting guns that can be used remotely with safety equipment. To carry out an effective fox hunt, the hunters need to prepare a series of tools and take careful steps. First of all, choosing a hunting location is very important it needs to be a place where foxes frequently appear, such as a walkway, barn entrance, or an area where there is plenty of food. Burrowing is a common tactic and using dogs to chase foxes after they leave their burrows is also an important part of the hunting process. Fox shooting grounds are considered an effective way to control the fox population. Australian government research has shown that fox numbers have decreased by about 20% over the past five years as a result of these measures. This efficiency is mainly due to hunts being carried out in a systemic and a planned manner. The combination of expert location selection, hunting skills and the use of quality gear is the key to achieving success in controlling fox populations and protecting the environment in which they live. According to statistics from the USD Department of Agriculture, Texas has become a symbol in the use of trapping and using dogs to hunt wild boars. In 2022, Texas farmers destroyed more than one million wild pigs using more than one million traps and more than 100,000 hunting dogs. These measures have played an important role in protecting farms and rural areas. The fight against wild boar intrusion and destruction has resulted in series of countermeasures, notably the use of traps to catch wild boars. One of the most popular and effective methods 
used by American farmers is the electric trap. Electric traps are an effective method, but also risky. It uses electricity to kill wild boars. When a wild boar comes into contact with an electric wire, it'll receive a strong shock and may be injured. This has helped farmers control the numbers of wild boars on the farm in minimizing the damage caused by them. In addition to electric traps, spring traps have also been used wildly. A spring trap is a trap system containing a powerful spring. When the wild boar steps into the trap and activates the mechanism, the spring will pop out and catch the boar. This method is also effective and especially useful when farmers want to catch wild boars in large numbers. However, there is a risk that the spring could cause injuries to the people if not used carefully. Therefore, consideration and management of spring traps is an important part of using this measure. In addition to electric traps and spring traps, the use of cage traps has also been applied by American farmers to control wild pigs. Cage traps use cages or pins to capture wild boars. When the pig enters the cage to get food, the cage door will automatically close, trapping the pig inside. Although it is an effective measure, it is also potentially dangerous for humans and pits if they do not carefully consider cage use. In the fight against wild boars, one of the traditional measures that American farmers have applied with amazing effectiveness is the use of hunting dogs. This helped them control the devastation caused by wild boars to farms and rural life. Confronting wild boars requires determination and creativity, and the use of hunting dogs is an important part of this story. Hunting dogs with their ability to sense an unconditional loyalty to humans have become an indispensable part in the fight against wild boars. There are two basic ways that farmers use hunting dogs to deal with wild boars. Firstly, hunting dogs are used to chase wild boars, creating fear and pressure on them. Second, hunting dogs can be used to search for and capture wild boars, removing them from agricultural environments. Although using hunting dogs is effective in controlling the wild boar population on farms, it also possesses a series of challenges and issues worth considering. First, many hunting dogs are needed to perform these tasks. Wild boars often move in groups, and facing large herds require a large number of hunting dogs. This means farmers must invest in raising and training a team of reliable hunting dogs. In addition, the safety of hunting dogs is also an important issue. Wild dogs are not always easy to catch and they can defend themselves by attacking hunting dogs.
This requires farmers to have patience and experience in training and managing hunting dogs, ensuring that they do not get injured during their tasks. In recent years, the use of hunting dogs has become an indispensable part of the fight against wild boars in the United States, especially in states like Texas, where wild boars cause a lot of damage. The diversity and use of hunting dogs has helped farmers respond to a range of challenges. They must gather knowledge and experience to find effective solutions, not only related to protecting agriculture, but also ensuring the safety and sustainability of the environment and the surrounding communities. The fight against feral hogs requires unity and dedication from all sides. And American farmers have demonstrated determination and creativity in responding to brutal feral hog attacks on farms, regions, and also countrysides. The use of hunting dogs is an important part of the story, as it has proven its effectiveness in protecting rural life and the environment. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.